in this part of the tutorial we are going to add a vendor or a merchant to um, to the um, inventory system and what I've done is that I've added another uh, box here which will um, symbolize our merchant and if you open up the merchant you'll see that there are some different items in him and these are just some standard items he starts with and as you can see there has been added a price to the tooltip so you can see all, everything here just cost 10 maybe we should write 10 gold or something but the cost is 10 um, and up here in the top right corner I have added my gold so I can't buy anything right now because um, I I'm out of gold if we pick up some items here you'll see when I mouse over them the tooltip looks exactly the same as before but if I move to the merchant and open him up you'll see that there is suddenly added a sell price to all these items here and both the sell price and the, um, the price from the merchant here, the vendor, is um, is, is written, it was, it's loaded from the XML document, so each item will have a sell price and a buy price on it, um, and so that you can, um, you can um, adapt every single item and make sure that every single item has its own sell price and its own buy, buy price. Um, I've just put 10 for sell price in all of them and 5 for sell price in all of them. As you can see here, I have 0 gold, so I couldn't buy anything but I can just sell some of these uh, different items here and I will gain some gold can also pick up some other items let's say sword or this and I'm also able to sell these to get some more gold so now I have 100 gold and with the 100 gold I can spend it here um, by right clicking on stuff so now I'm buying some potions and I can buy the axe and the sword and as you can see everything um, works as before we can take these items that we just bought and equip them so that we can use them in uh, in our game and we can also uh, use the potions of course so that's what we are going to do in this part of the tutorial